Hi and welcome to this new video. If you right click a file in the browser of FL Studio, you get the system options to either delete the file or to open the shell menu. For folders, the delete function is replaced by open. This opens the folder in the Windows Explorer, where by right clicking you've got all the available shell options directly, beside others, renaming. If we choose though the shell options directly from the internal browser, there is no renaming option. I am sure you already recognized that too and thought what the f Why can't I rename a file? My guess is that ImageLine wanted to save themselves some headache, with steady complaints that by opening a project samples weren't found on the system, because the user renamed that file without changing the generator to this new renamed file. So please, if you are using this quick tip and rename files you use in a project already, after renaming you have to connect the new renamed file to the generator which is using this sample. Or at least you have to remember your changes and when reopening this project that you know how to point FL Studio to the renamed file. No matter if it's used by a sampler channel, audio clip, FPC or direct wave, reassign samples to the generator after renaming. There's a second option to rename files directly inside the browser. Well, not directly, we have to go a little way around. But at least we can do it directly from the already selected file. Open the properties for the file. You can change the name of the file directly in the naming field. Because I did that in an internal FL Studio folder, the browser immediately refreshes and shows the changes. Again, to change the name back, right-click the file, Shell menu, Properties, Change the name, Apply, and boom, file renamed. If you do the same in folders you added manually to the browser, like I did with my main sample folder, the changes aren't reflected automatically. You have to refresh the browser to make it visible. Well, some might say this wouldn't be any faster and you could do it in the same time by just opening the folder. The objection is justified when I look at such a simple example. But let's look a bit more into a real world example. Some sample folders contain many, many files. And let's say for some reason I want to rename a sample I use in a sampler. Let's do it the old way. Locate sample in browser. But now I have to scroll up quite a lot to reach the folder. Then I say open. And again, where is my sample? Nothing is selected here. How was it named? Scroll all the way down again. There it is. Not this one, this. Ok, I can rename it now. Now my way. Same starting point. Locate sample in browser, right click, shell menu, properties and rename. What do you think was faster to do? Again, please be careful with renaming stuff and perhaps it's a good idea to rename just copies you have in your own project folder and never rename original files. Stay tuned and thank you for watching.